Hello, my, my name is Craig Smith. I'm here in my garage working on my thistle. Uh, this is a boat that was built in 1953 and it's been painted, I, as far as I can tell, since the boat was built in 1953. My plan is to strip all the paint off this boat and to turn it into a natural wood exterior looking boat. So, it occurred to me that uh, when I started learning how to strip paint, that it sure would have been nice for somebody to show me how to do it. So what I'm going to do here is just to show you the basics of what I've learned through a little bit of practice as to the best technique to strip paint from a wooden boat. Now this technique will work with varnish and it also work with epoxy, uh, although you just have to change the amount of heat and the pressure that you use to do the stripping. Okay, well basically the tools that you need to do this are a paint scraper, which you're going to keep nice and sharp with uh, just a basic metal file. Uh, you're going to sharpen it on a regular basis as you finish with your project. And the other thing that you need is a heat gun. I think I got this at uh, Home Depot for about uh, $19. So these are the two things that you need. I found this to be much more effective than either sanding, which is a very dusty job, or a chemical stripper, because the chemical stripper, uh, I found myself having to go back and use this technique after I've used the chemical stripper. Um, so the technique is very easy to do. It's also very minimal mess when you compare it to the other options of stripping paint. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on two different spots here on the boat. We're gonna work on a section here, which has been just painted. Uh, looks like some type of uh, oil-based paint or acrylic paint. Uh, and uh, there's obviously a primer there. It looks like maybe two coats of paint. The other section we're going to cover is this section over here, which uh, has uh, a fiberglass patch, which appears to have been impregnated with epoxy. This was, an, this was not a repair I had done. So um, we're going to start with just the painted section. I'm going to turn on the, the heat guns uh, and continue to talk, but hopefully you can hear me over the heat gun. Okay, you're going to start... Uh, I work from right to left because I'm right-handed and what it allows me to do is to heat an area and then move the heat gun onto a new area while I continue to strip with the paint scraper. So I'm heating the area and I'm going to start here and just uh, with a tri triangle paint scraper it works great because you can flip it around to get the sharpest edge available for, for what you're cleaning. As you see there, it just uh, comes off super clean. It's not gouging the wood and won't gouge the wood if you use the right amount of pressure, not too much. Don't use the corner of your scraper and make sure that your scraper is nice and sharp. You see here that the, the paint comes off and it ends up being just a, a super super clean a little tough area here. It just needs a little bit more heat, a little more pressure. Just cleaned it right off there. And you see that that's just, turns out to be just beautiful wood there. All right, now we're going to go over here to the fiberglass patch section and do the same thing here. Um, as you just heat, heat, it, heat it up a little bit, get it, get it nice and warm. And uh, epoxy uh, will break down, will get soft once it's heated, so that's a good tool to be able to use. But as you see here, just a little bit of heat, just a little bit of pressure, you can just completely clean the fiberglass and epoxy from, from the wood. There you go, and you, and you may think, gee, is he taking up, up some wood? And uh, th there may be just a slight film that's attached to the, uh, to, the, um, to the paint chips as they come off, but for the most part, I think it just ends up just taking off the paint and whatever, whatever's on top of the wood, and then leaving the wood basically intact. And as you can see, it uh, ends up coming up nice and clean. And I think this is a more effective way at least of starting and then finishing off with your sandpaper. So good luck with your own project. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. 
and uh, we'll see you next time.